Hello again, this is Misty and I am with crazyabouttteaching.blogspot.com. I have another awesome website that I wanted to share with you today. It is extramath.org, X-T-R-A math.org, and it is an awesome free site available to anyone, even parents as well. But as a teacher, I can enter my students. As I see right here, I'm already logged into my account. Um, here's my students. I can print the parent flyers. I have these parent flyers already printed up for our first conference at the beginning of the year. And they receive that and they can practice at home. They have a code and the parents, I think, can register, if I'm not mistaken, with their email. And then I also, this is a neat thing. I'm going to kind of see if it lets me do it. This is the parent flyers real quick, if you can kind of see. It prints this up. It gives, you know, specifically has their name. It gives their code. And everything else is done for it, for you and also for the parent. They don't have to have any questions. I haven't had any questions ever because it's self-explanatory. Right here, you can print up after you enter your kids. You can press print student pins and this is what I print out for the kids and this list is in a folder right next to the computer so everything is there they don't have to ask me for their pin number and after they do it a few times it's already actually already in their memory and they never have to ask me so it works out really well when I'm doing small group and I'm not able to stay at the computer at all times let me show you something else um, for the prepare for the classroom computers what it gives me is a code as you see right here and I'm gonna go back to that like I would prepare this computer and I'm gonna show you what the students see and I entered my son's name just to kind of show you what they see Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to Extra Math. I'm going to sign in. And here's the little tabs, the students, the parents, and here's the classroom. And I already had the code up there. I already entered it. They gave it to me, but I entered it in and I pressed Setup. And actually, it's already here because I already did it a minute ago. The 2014-2015 first grade, I click on that. And then I'm going to go down real quick to my son's. I did like a little trial. A um, little tester, I guess you can say. And I'm going to put in his code. And also, if he's busy, say he's taking an R test, the other student that was before them um, in any of the computers, they press busy. If they're absent, they press absent. So it will not call them back up again. So they ha they don't have any questions at all. It tells you self-explanatory. This little um, fella right here, he kind of tells them step by step of what they need to do, and this kind of shows you we what they've mastered. We're going to do a short quiz on addition and give you some of the problems we didn't get to on the first quiz. It's a short quiz like last time, so stay focused until you are finished. Don't worry about mistakes. You can show that you know the right answer in the future. Just do your best. Everything will be okay. Press the button to start the quiz. So that's what's awesome. It tells you everything to do. So they have never stopped my teaching or what I'm working with if I'm not on the computer. Because it this he tells them what to do and it's self-explanatory. And right here, I mean, it's just quick. It tells you 4 plus 2. And I'm going to kind of show you if you do not answer it what happens. The timer's on, and it'll kind of briefly, it kind of like a little shadow shows you the correct answer. And then you just start pressing, you start getting smiley faces. So what it is, is just trying to remember in their memory. Instead of using fingers, number line, even though everything is great, and it's easy to do that. Um, it kind of just helps you the way that we used to learn. I do real quick see right here it pops up and I go ahead and enter it you can type in the numbers on your keyboard or you can press this little guy right here and you can actually press it on here some prefer the computer some prefer this 
and it's easy. They can just click on it, it can move, or it can be taken away just by clicking on it again. So this is an awesome, awesome math practice. They do have an app for it. I have not purchased it because I know it's not free right now. And as teachers, we know we like free. So I haven't tried it, but the computer, just having it on the computer is fine. We have lots of practice. They are improving every day. Once they master the addition, then it automatically goes to subtraction. And then it would go to multiplication and then division. So it's a really fun thing to do. You don't have to be hovering over them at a computer. They can do everything by themselves. So I hope that you would kind of check out extramath.org and tell me what you think. Thank you.